Yeah, I mean, we probably do win if I just play it. Ah, uh, mm. oh, blood oh. is funny. Oh, oh wait. wait. Dude. Oh, oh. My. Best outplays and massive wipes on entire enemy teams. Today's episode is all about Vector, so leave like if you enjoy, subscribe for more daily, and if you want, send me your clip, check the description below. Let's back with Teamfight, where everyone in team was taken down, and CJ Guapo need to fix that game facing alone against everyone. Fuck. Gagne is master tier Victor main, and if you watch closer, it's really five fight. Ash is little behind doing not many damage, so Gagne is only one person who can do something in this fight. Honestly, the hardest part about playing York is controlling Maiden. There's no way you outplayed them like that. Enemy team is far behind in gold, somehow blue side decided to split push on every lane. Victor is mine problem for enemy team, that's why most of opponents came on bot lane to take him down. Enemies surprised Kain on Herald and they save it on half HP. Victor tried much as he can to help Kled who went too deep and also left Clockman alone. That one small step from Vi could won that battle. Oh, so close. What is this damage? If you want to fight with Vector 1v1, make sure you can win that battle, because if you give him advantage on lane, you might have not any life in the rest of the game. I'm coming! Uh, oh, okay, well, he's in the bush, watch out. I'm gonna go more drag me something.
Enemies took down Viego and Seraphim. They had perfect chance to Nashor buff and create some huge comeback in this game. Delta teleported behind to stop them saving Nashor and probably the game. Another Nashor teamfight where teammates came just in time to stop enemies. It's very close game where enemies did huge mistake but still trying to fight, because sometimes less idea is just to leave that Nashor. This time blue team came little late and enemies took that drag and it turns to huge team fight where enemies slowly taking control but Chenso got perfect position melting everyone from behind one by one. Sintra is one level ahead, and as we know after rework she can be really hard to face 1v1. This guy didn't give up on fight with her and even with low mana he keeps poking her over and over to finally...
Oh, you could have support. Oh. No, he did not. Oh, there he goes, I didn't know Kai stopped him. Oh, I fucked up, I fucked up really bad, guys. Oh my god. Um. This guy really hard one to take that one more turret play, but Vi and Leblanc surrounded him from every side. He left with like 70 HP against half Leblanc and watch closer on that perfect dodge by using flash. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe for more content, don't forget to send me your clips, have a nice day and see you next time.